Hi, my name's Ian Foley. I'm the Managing Director here at EquipMake. I'd like to take a bit of time to show you around our factory and show you some of our capabilities. So this is our prototype electronics area. For our production, the uh, electronics boards are externally manufactured, but for prototypes, we can manufacture them ourselves here by hand or repair where necessary. And Lawrence here is just assembling one of our latest gate drive boards. We also do all of our own wiring in-house. So for, the, for all of our control systems, it's extremely important that the wiring is high quality. The customer doesn't mind if the bus has stopped because a wire's fallen off or a motor's failed. It doesn't matter to him. So again, for our production, it's externally manufactured, but for all of our prototypes, they're all uh, manufactured here in-house. So this is our wire eroding machine. We use it mainly to do uh, prototype electrical stators. So in production, a component like this will be made out of a stamping, but it's quite a time-consuming and expensive process. So what we can do on this machine is to make prototypes very quickly ourselves. And the machine kind of runs itself, so to do a whole motor's worth will take more than a day. So the machine runs kind of 24 hours a day cutting these prototype stators out. So we've also got two CNC machining centres, a three axis and a five axis. So with these, we can make prototypes very quickly, but we're also doing our production machining here, machining castings, which we get manufactured externally. And at the moment, we're currently machining a batch of motor casings. This is the motor production build area. There's nine stations uh, to build a motor. And here we've got Ted is currently inserting ball bearings into the rotor to seal the rotor up. And then the next stage is the magnets are inserted. Uh, so Zeke here has got a special tool to put the 32 magnets into the rotor. It's very important that the rotor is properly balanced. So we've got the balancing stage here where Alex is currently just running a balancing check. And if necessary, we can then uh, put balance weights either side of the rotor to, to get it properly balanced. The next stage of the process is that the uh, rotor needs to be fitted into the end case. Uh, so the, the end case has a bearing in and that's fitted before going over for final assembly. So in parallel with the rotor build, we have the stator build. So here the uh, stator segments are being laid out prior to assembly into the stator cooling ring. And then following that, uh, the cooling ring is then assembled onto the, the outer cooling jacket. Uh, the two halves are sealed with, a, with an O-ring. Uh, but to assemble that up, it needs to be done under some pressure. So we've got the press here, which is a, an automatic press, which is instrumented, which makes sure that the stator ring is assembled with exactly the right pressure to ensure a quality fit. Then all those components come to the last but one station to be assembled together. So the state has been assembled on the left hand side here, the rotor on the right hand side, and then the two come together here for final assembly. Then following that assembly, the whole state needs to be electrically tested to make sure that there's proper electrical resistance. And the motor runs at about 700 volts, but the state is tested to two and a half thousand volts. And what you can see here, a test just being run, and hopefully it'll all come up green if everything's okay. So this is our inverter production build area, and Matt's just laid out all the components to start the build of a new inverter. Uh, we can see buzz bars, capacitors, control board, etc. And we also have a tablet-based quality control system to ensure that every inverter is, is built to the same specification and record quality control information, etc. Uh, so this is our fatigue testing machine. We can test components from minus 100 degrees to plus 100 degrees on here. And we're currently doing fatigue testing of our rotor to do accelerated live testing at temperature to make sure that the rotor is going to be durable in service. So we have uh, three motor test dynos we've built. So we're here we can run two of our motors back to back and fully calibrate and test the motor and the inverter uh, with our analysis software outside. So we can do drive cycle analysis, uh, durability work, etc. on these three dynos. So Javi is just about to start running a test on the rig here. So what we can do is we can set the voltage to whatever we need and it's currently about 700 volts. And then we can run drive cycles or fixed point tests. So at the moment we're doing some uh, calibration work looking at the temperature of the motor at certain operating points. Um, so the motor's just run up to uh, about, what, what speed are we doing, Javier? About 2,000 RPM. 2,000 RPM, and then uh, we, can, we can run up to, with this motor, it's about 450 Newton meter steps. 
and uh, test for uh, thermal performance. So at the moment we've been running the motor for extended periods. So this particular motor, the APM200, uh, will do 110 kilowatts continuously and then the internals of the motor get to about 165, 170 degrees and we can monitor all that and log the data on these tests. So this is another one of our test rigs which is specifically to measure the power electronics separately from the motor. It, we're running our electronics really hard so it's really important that we know exactly what temperature the chip is. So with this kit we can actually measure the chip temperature directly and run extended drive cycles to make sure the power electronics is reliable. So this is our double deck electric bus chassis which has been developed in partnership with our chassis partner Agrale. They've developed a brand new chassis specifically to fit our electrical drivetrain. Uh, this has currently been commissioned here at Equipmake and it's just about to go off to our bodybuilding partner and we'll be back in about eight months time as a full spec London double deck bus. So now that you've seen what we can do here, hopefully we'll soon be working on a project together.